Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we will look at the prerequisites that we will need before we can start creating the automation framework for API testing using REST Assured. You can follow this course on Windows or Mac operating system. I will tell you wherever there will be any differences, but you can follow this on Windows or Mac. If you are using any operating system, this is fine. The prerequisites that we have is first thing we need Java on our systems and in case you are on Windows, you can go to your command line. So if I go to my command prompt on Windows, I will run the command Java space hyphen version and this will show me the Java version on my system. In case you do not get the Java version and you get something like command not found, that means Java is either not installed on your system or it is not set in the environment variables. Let me also check on my Mac. If I go to my Mac and go to terminal and run the same command java space hyphen version i am getting the java version here as well now in your case if you do not get the java version you can check my tutorial if you go to my website automationstepbystep.com here you will find a link for java course under programming section we have java here and this will take you to a youtube playlist and here we have this course and this video on how to install Java on Windows and how to install and update Java on Mac. So based on your operating system, you can check this video just in case you do not have Java. So this was the first prerequisite. The second one is we need some Java IDE for Java development. You can use Eclipse, IntelliJ or any other IDE. And again, just in case you do not have any IDE, you can get Eclipse and you will find a video in the same playlist for getting started with Eclipse so you can watch this and in case of Eclipse you can just go to Google and say Eclipse download and this will take you to the Eclipse download website so Eclipse.org is the website for Eclipse and when you go to the downloads you can get Eclipse from here and you can get it as a installer and then install on your system or you can also get a zip folder or a zip file so let me quickly show you if you go to this website you can see here you can just download and then install or you can click on download packages here and if you click on download packages it will take you to a new page where it will show the packages let me very quickly show you so it is taking some time uh, let me just show you now on this page packages you can see we have Eclipse IDE for Java developers and then Eclipse IDE for enterprise Java developers so what we need is Eclipse IDE for Java developers and based on your operating system you can click here so for example if I want for Windows I will click on this Windows 64 bit and then in this page Again, you will find a direct download button that will download a installer. And in case you just want to get a zip folder and then you can unzip it, you can get this one. This is a zip folder. You can download it and then unzip and keep at any location on your system. And then uh, just click on the eclipse.exe file. Let me show you here. In my case, I have downloaded this zip folder and then unzipped it. So if I go to my folder here I have this under tools and then Eclipse 2020 and this is the this was the zipped folder I have unzipped it and I have kept it here and then by using this eclipse.exe I will double click and it will open Eclipse so you can get Eclipse like this and again I have shown you the video just in case you want to get more help you can check this one uh, then we need Maven now Eclipse will have Maven inbuilt and as long as we are running our project from Eclipse, we will not need to install Maven separately on our system. So you can uh, skip this for now. We will just be using e Eclipse in the initial session. And then when we want to run from command line, we will need to install Maven on our, on our systems. Again, if you go to my website, automation step by step, you will find a tutorial on maven under build tools so you can go here again this will take you to a youtube playlist 
and here i have shown how to install maven on windows and how to install maven on mac so in case you want to install maven you can check this and to check maven again you can just say mvn space hyphen v on your system on the command line and this will show you the maven version so you can see in my case apache maven 3.6.2 is installed uh, the same thing you can do on mac i will say mvn space hyphen hyphen version will also work or mvn space hyphen v and here again i have maven installed so as i said maven will be required on the system when we run from command line you can skip this for now or you can get maven if you want and then we need testng testng is the testing framework that we will use for creating test or for rest assured now again I will show you in the coming session how you can get testng we will need a testng eclipse plugin and we will also need testng maven library so we will add both in eclipse and this is what I will show you in the next session so these are the prerequisites and you can get these prerequisites set up so that in the next session we can start creating our framework on rest assured step by step I hope this session was useful for you thank you for watching